Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create another physics based car. Well, this one has suspension. So, I've already got a tutorial up on how to make a really basic one, so it's pretty much just extending that. Okay, so, same as the other one, you're going to want a car body. This time I have a ute, as you can see just there. And you're also going to want a wheel, so I've got this one just here. Okay, so those are just sprites. Okay, now you want to make a wheel object just here. So if we're going to create uh, left equals zero, right equals zero, and speed equals zero, and then the step event is just keyboard checks and applying the torque to the wheels. Okay, now the wheel has use physics ticked and it's a circle body shape as you can see just there and it's parented to the dynamic parent okay oh yes uh, another thing the collision group is minus one so that it doesn't collide with the car when it um when like the suspension happens to have the wheel inside the car body okay now car body is pretty much where everything happens it sets the controls and speed for the wheels so yeah we'll go to that okay so to start off with I uh, use this physics selected it is parented to the dynamic parent and the shape is a simple polygon which as it turns out for some reason I have to reset so I'll just do that now So, you pretty much just want to make the basic shape. So just like this. Oops. And that should do it. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so yeah, I've just set the basic shape, but you probably want to go more advanced if you're making like a proper car. But yeah, so that's the collision shape, and everything else is the same. Okay, so create event. We've got quite a bit. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all these variables listed for you. Um, H is the suspension height, P is the suspension force, PP is the maximum suspension force, so P pretty much just stands for power. Okay, P1 and P2, so that's the wheel or suspension position for the first wheel, and then P2 is the second wheel. Right is the right control, left is left control. So that's moving right and moving left. Uh, right, um, yeah. Right, right is the rotate right, so for leaning, and right left is rotate left for, for leaning as well. Okay, right is the rotation power, and SPD is the move power. Okay, so um, yeah, SPD is the torque that we put, that we give to the wheels when the key is pressed. Okay, so S1 equals instance create. Um, X minus P1, Y plus 32, and object suspension. That's another thing I've got to show you. So I'll just pause from that for a sec, and I'll show you object suspension. Okay, now all this is is a simple object. So that there is the sprite. It's a really simple object. Uses physics. Uh, it doesn't have a parent, and it's just a box shape. Now all this does is gives us a body to connect because when doing this we use prismatic joints now prismatic joints don't allow rotation but we need the wheels to rotate so connecting it straight to the car body wouldn't be very helpful in that instance so instead we make this little object so the prismatic joint connects to the suspension object and then the wheel joint then just uses a revolute no sorry the wheel then just uses a revolute joint 
to connect to the suspension object. So it allows us to have the wheel spin and have the suspension. Okay, so anyway, back to what we're doing. Okay, S1 equals instance create, um, X minus P1 and Y plus 32 for object suspension. Uh, physics joint prismatic create. Now this sets up our prismatic joint for the suspension. So ID being this object, uh, S1 is the object we're connecting, which we just created. Okay, X is our X position, Y minus 8 for our Y position. Now this is the world anchor. I'll just put this in full screen. Okay, yeah, world anchor X and world anchor Y. Okay, zero for the world axis X and one for world axis Y. Okay, so translation limits. The lower one is zero and the higher one is H. Remember, H was our uh, um, suspension height. So in this case, the upper translation limit is 16. Okay, enable limit, yes. The max motor force is PP, so that's our maximum suspension force. And our motor speed is P, so that is our suspension force. Okay, enable motor, true, and collide the instances, no. So false. Okay, SI2, it's pretty much just running through the same thing, but for the second one. Okay, so this is where we put on our wheels, you see? So W equals instance create SI.X and SI.Y, so that being our first suspension um, coordinates. Okay, Y plus 16 and object wheel. So that just puts a wheel on. Now we set the wheels variables, so W dot speed equals speed, W dot right equals right, W dot left equals left. So those are our controls, and then it creates the revolute joint and sets that revolute joint so it connects the wheel to the first instance that we created of object suspension. Okay, and then it just repeats it again for the second wheel. So that is pretty much it. So yeah, I'll just run the game and show you. Another thing I've got going in this is my hilly terrain engine. So as you can see, I've got these objects and I've just outlined them. And then I've also got the rope bridges in this as well. Oops. Okay. So now I'll just run this to show you. Okay, I'll just pause it until it compiles and then I'll bring it back when it's done. Okay, so this is the game here. Now this one is, I was just making a very simple world selection kind of thing. So one being the first world and then one and two for the first and second level. In this case we want one. And there is our little car, okay. So, you've got backwards movement, forwards movement, and the leaning. And as you can see, you've got the suspension working there as well. So, I'll just land. Now, it's not actually set very high for this, as that proves. So, I'm going to show you one of the other cars that I made. Okay, so that's a ute. Now, I thought I had more suspension than that. I made this a little while ago, but obviously not, so I'm going to add in instead the dirt bike, which should, from memory, have more suspension. Okay, so once again, I'm going to pause this, and then I'll just, you know, resume it once the game is compiled. Okay. one and fire out, forget about that one. Okay, hang on. Gotta raise that a bit because once the object hits the ground it disconnects from the bike. Okay. Now pause it one more time. Okay. 
Yeah, I can show you. Oh yeah, and yes, the suspension for the bike works the same as the Ute. All right, there you go. Now you can see the suspension. Okay, now as you can see, I've got a person on this. Now that person is just a rag doll. Okay, so as you can see the working suspension of the wheels, and I've also got a rag doll attached to the bike. Now I'm not going to show you this in this tutorial, like how to do that. I might show you in a different one, but as you can see, once the ragdoll hits the ground, just stack. I'll just let the bike go a bit there. But yeah, that's how the ragdoll works, and where's my bike gone? There it is. Just grab that again, and I can still control that. So yeah, as you can see, that's the suspension. And yeah, so as I said before, the suspension for the bike is the same as the Ute, so just use that code. Um, I like to show you the values of it because the Ute wasn't very high set. So we'll go to the dirt bike and the create event. Okay, so there's the values for that. But yeah, that's how it's done. I uh, hope this helped you out. Um, as I said, I might make a tutorial on how to do the whole ragdoll on the bike thing, but you know, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, um, as I've said in a lot of my other videos, I am taking requests on tutorials, so if there's something you don't know how to do, send me a message, and then if I know how to do it, I'll either make a tutorial on it, or I'll just help you out personally. I've done that before with a few other people, like this video here was actually a request. But yeah, um, hope this helped you out, and like subscribe. I'm going to keep making tutorials, so, you know, maybe once a week or so. No guarantees, but yeah, thanks for watching.